in, in this match, you know, into this event is they're never satisfied. I was driving to be better. Um, so you get into something like this, you're expecting yourself to, to shoot really, really well. If, if you don't shoot to, to your expectations, whether you win or lose, you're not pleased and you're going to go back and you're going to focus and, and try and get to where you know you can be. So we're going to go into the uh, other half of the men's draw now and look at two archers here. Very impressive at the moment, a Turkish archer who took down the world number one to take gold in the last stage in Berlin, and a Dutchman who did the same thing in Salt Lake City and is out to defend his World Cup title. So, again, um, I'm, I'm very excited to see this match, actually, and, and at the quarter-final stage to see such top uh, archers is going to be really interesting. Yeah, and you know, when you look at Mikey Schlosser and you think, oh, you know, here's a veteran. Well, not really. He's still very young. Uh, so you got two young, up-and-coming guys that are going to be here for a long time, and uh, this should be a fun match. Well, Schlosser at 23, actually younger than the Turkish archer, just taking the field of play here. As he walks the shooting line, we'll introduce you to him properly. There he is, arms folded in that characteristic pose that he has. Demir Emek Akli of Turkey, ranked number three in the world this year. And the manner in which he took down Hansen in Denmark was pretty impressive, actually. Wasn't it, it? it was. Um, I don't think anybody saw that coming, but boy, he really shot well. Certainly did. But he's up against the man they call Mr. Perfect, uh, and with good reason to walking onto the field of play now in the bright orange of the Netherlands. He's the defending champion, and he's in good shape as well. It's the Dutchman, Mike Schlosser, on target number two. Ranked number two in the world this year as well. Winning 70% of his matches, and when you get into the 70% mark, you know that you're doing something right. Yeah, yeah, and, and again, you know when you're shooting somebody like that that you just cannot give him much of a lead in trouble. So, you know, there's no question that um, Demir is going to have a little bit more pressure on him in this match to start. And we'll see. But again, what he did with uh, Stefan Hansen didn't matter. He just shot great. So it will be Schlosser, the Dutchman, on target two to begin. Very fast shooter. Somebody that likes to, to shoot ah, quickly. That's a, that's a perfect with almost a perfect arrow. We're not quite so near the center, but still a 10. That's all that matters. Mikey's looking, looking good right here. Keeping pace. Yeah. Both these guys will uh, will know that Gelantin and Anderson are through. Both mm -hmm. are those archers capable of shooting 150s in match play. So it's about sending a signal, actually, isn't it? That you're ready. It is. No question about it. You know, if you can get out there and, and set a pace, um, it makes guys think. Join those first six arrows of the match. Everything in the tent, 30 points for both archers. Such a great TV sport, archery, isn't it? Yeah, it's all about the, the close ups of the archers' faces, like you see there, and then the results 50 meters away. The tiny margins that TV is so good at showing you. You know, TV makes it look so easy. <laughs> yeah, I guarantee you, um, they're feeling it. Their bodies are inside or moving. And, you know, the wind is there, and you just you don't always see all of that on TV. But 
Uh, you know, you see that end arrow. Punch loss, it will shoot first on target. But boy, sometimes you get an earthquake in your body as you're aiming. These guys look good, though. Ah, another one. Finds the same hole that he found with the first arrow. And do you see the timing difference? Um, you know, Mikey is really, really fast on his shot. And um, we I mean, were just a lot longer shot process. He's up there at full draw a lot longer, you know, two, over three times longer. Over the course of the uh, match then, would that cumulatively make a difference maybe to your muscles or to the way you shoot? I, I think so. And I think actually shooting fast, especially when you have breeze and, you know, when you've got some wind and stuff, really can help you. You know, in a sense, you get the arrow shot before the wind could have a chance to pick up or gust and blow you off. Um, but, you know, it, it's also just that rhythm. It just, you don't give your, you just, you just go. You don't think as much. Um, sometimes at full draw, you think too much. Ooh, there is something that you don't expect from Mike. A bit of encouragement. Yeah, here's a chance from the coach here. at the back there. And yeah. Yes. Oh, he yeah. takes yeah. it to advantage. Yeah. 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 And all of a sudden, from almost nothing, a two yeah. point losing. Yeah, no pressure switch. It's all momentum like any other sport. You know, momentum um, it can definitely play on um, the nerves of your competitor. Mark Strasser, the defending champion, so a, a title to protect creates its own narrative in your head, I'm sure. But what I'm interested with Amagakle is he. He's been very, very close to winning the matches that he's lost this season. There hasn't been a point here or there or a shoot-off here and there. Let's not forget that he's the 2015 world champion, so, uh, uh, world cup champion. So he does have a, a win under his belt in these yeah. conditions, and, and so no one's going to be underestimating him. And no, they, they've seen how well he's been shooting coming into here, and, and uh, everybody's, he's not a, he can't sneak up on anything right now, that's for sure. So it's like concern for Schlosser giving away two points so far. Yeah, he no. needs three tens. Mm -hmm. The wind has switched now. It's going towards the target before it was actually coming towards the archers. Mm. Seven. I'm sure the wind, you can see him kind of looking at his coach and trying to figure out what to do there. You can see uh, his his bow moving a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. not suffering quite so much from that. Day. No, gained two more points. That's quite big. Back in the X for Schlosser takes him to 74. A slight worried expression on his face. Sağlamdır. Sağlamdır. Evet. That's a good that's a good way to follow up your first arrow. Bravo. Turkish Archer looking to press home his advantage and he does. Three points now. So off the three ends uh, a three-point lead for the Turkish archer. And that's that's quite a platform now. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a little bit decline when someone's shooting well. But again, you, you just never know. You, you know. you don't expect Mike to shoot an eight. Um, no, but you have So it, you, anything can happen on gusts of wind, or you know, all you got to do is go up there and put your arrows in the middle and, and see what happens. Four of uh, losses, six tens of the axes. So he knows where the center of the target is. And you saw two of those were pretty much right on the button. And it, that makes the nine, the eight, and the seven that make up the scores so far all the more difficult to explain, doesn't it? Right. Absolutely, but, you know, almost half of the arrows of uh, Demir have also been X's, so it's really it look like a pretty good shot. I think he's uh, a little surprised at that one. Yes. Yeah, he's looking comfortable.
ball right now. Yeah, yeah. Looking good. Like he's going to let up, does he? Yeah. Hey, it's all falling apart a little yeah. bit for Mike Schlosser here. Yeah. He's capable of more. He knows it. Mm -hmm. And Elmer Gatley will know that too and Six. won't be complacent. Yes. Yeah. I expect him now, you know, with the lead that he has here to just keep filling up the middle. Pressure in a sense is off. He should be feeling pretty comfortable right now. It's a nice phrase. Keep filling up the middle. Mm -hmm. I like that. Nine. Just a nine with that one, but still five points now, and we're into the final end. Oh dear me, the defending champion in a, in a bit of trouble. Yes, he is. Uh, you know, five points, that's quite a hurdle. But, you know, anything can happen, but mm, I, I don't know if he's going to be able to overcome that. Mears is uh, looking just comfortable, relaxed, making really nice, solid shots. Yeah, and, and Schlosser will, will shoot first in his final end, so he'll really need to start with a 10 and then yeah. keep maintaining that pressure and hope that, you know, he's, he's shot a couple of rogue shots himself, El Mugaka yet to do that, so mm -hmm. he's going to hope that there's a couple of rogue ones in the, in the bag that haven't come out yet. Yeah, exactly. Yes. This is the third of our quarterfinals. One more to go after uh, this one, and then another uh, interesting match to come. But we're down to the last three arrows of this quarterfinal between Mike Schlosser of the Netherlands and Demir Almogarkli of Turkey. Mike Schlosser shoots first on target two. I mean, they came in here ranked, you know, four and five for this event, so it's not like it's a huge upset or anything, but um, you expected it to be a little bit tighter. Still might be. Yeah, that's the right shot to find for Schlosser. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nine. 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 So the leads Nine. cut by a point. Mm. Needed to be another ten. Really. Yeah, he ne he really needed a ten there. It was just a very long shot for him. Offset him. Yes. So his lead is five. Hmm. Final arrow of the match for Slosher. He'll be looking to finish well. And he does a 10. 140 gives El Magakli six to win. That's pretty comfortable. Yeah, and the defending champion is out. No back-to-back -back titles for Schlosser. Elmer Markley takes the match. He was Hyundai Archery World Cup champion in 2015 in Mexico City. This season he came from seemingly nowhere to win the fourth and final stage of the season. And now his opponents need to sit up and take notice. He's into the semi-finals here in Rome. Outstanding. Nice surprising match, but he shot he looked real calm and relaxed that whole time. He's confident. He's just so determined. Mm. Uh, and he allowed himself the, a tiny bit of a, a bit of a smile. At the end there, didn't he? <laughs> he sure did. He had a little uh, arm pumps there right after his uh, last arrow shot. Again, good to see that little bit of motion kind of come out. Yeah. Absolutely. Good weekend for Turkish archery so far. Yeshin mm -hmm. Bostan with a bronze uh, medal. Third place here in uh, in Rome.
so still. It's almost no movement, even under those slow mo. Yeah, I love these slow mo shots. <laughs> just in here watching and just uh, enjoying um, those shots. You just don't realize all the movements everything has on that shot, how the arrow flexes and the bows are flexing. You can see how how big that last arrow was for him. Yeah, absolutely. He's got his eye on a second mm -hmm. World Cup title.